Uh, Jakob Hansen, uh, Secretary General of Fertilizers Europe. Uh, you were on the panel today. How uh, do you see the result of this discussion? Does it give you uh, hope that we can find a solution to shrinking the carbon footprint of agriculture? I think there are two things. I think the discussion today showed that some people are discussing more long-term, more radical transformation, and I am talking more about what can we do now that will improve the things and climate here and now. And this is one of the difficulties is what we're doing at the moment and what we possibly can do in the long term. And what can your sector, what can the fertilizer sector do to shrink that footprint? Well, we can do many things. I think there are two things we can do. We can produce as efficiently as possible so we don't waste any energy in the production. But I think even more importantly is that we start talking to the farmers about how they use the fertilizer. Because there's a huge difference in the climate footprint depending on how the farmer uses the fertilizer. And so uh, what about this debate between agroecology and uh, the, the more industrial uh, methods uh, that are supported by the... Uh, climate smart agriculture. How do you see that? I was listening to the debate today and I think that putting them up as two alternatives I think is a bit of a wrong choice. I don't see this one choice or the other. I think you should combine elements of both because for me again it's about pragmatism, it's about what can we do, what works and not necessarily philosophy.